Wouldn't it be great if you got a couple of good reviews for your app in the App Store? You can now do that with the Store Review plugin by James Montemagno, who doesn't know him. Let's go check out how to implement that in our Xamarin Forms application. So here we are in Visual Studio for Mac 2019. On the left, you can see a file new Xamarin Forms application. On the right, you can see it running on the iOS simulator. Now this works on Android, iOS, and even UWP. I'm going to show you on iOS, but of course the exact same code works on the other two platforms as well. Uh, mind you that there is difference in how this behaves, especially when testing this, but also in production. So uh, make sure that you catch the end of this video as well, where I explain all of that. Now, now, um, first here, let's um, update this title right here. So let's do the store review sample. Um, and let's just dive in and actually implement this thing. So the first thing you need to do is actually install this plugin, of course. So let's go over to our solution explorer, right click on the solution level and click on manage NuGet packages. Now let's find store a review. I think we should find it there. Plugin dot store review. Um, at the time of recording, it's been updated a a couple of months ago, but you know, this functionality doesn't change too much. So I think we're okay here um, and a good number of downloads. So you're um, pretty much safe to use this one. Now I already installed this um, and um, whenever you do make sure that you do it on all the project because this also uses some platform specific functionality on Android and iOS because these operating systems and also UWP, these operating systems have some functionality built in to actually show you a dialogue um, to ask for a review. So um, make sure to install it on all of your projects. Now I'm going to cancel this um, on your project. Make sure to install this. now. Let's go over to our code behind because I I might add a little, couple of buttons later, but for now I'm going to go into this code behind. So let's add cross store review, I think it's called. Let's see if IntelliSense can help us here. There we are using plugin store review. Um, and then I can say dot and a dot current. So this is set up as a lot of James's plugins are set up. It will just have this singleton um, instance that is set up here. Um, so you go to cross store review or cross whatever media plugin. I think he has kind of the same structure. Um, and then you will get an instance of the class that you can just call the methods on. Now you also have the is supported. So um, just to be on the safe side, check if the platform or whatever is supported. So it will skip over this if it's not. Um, but other than that, you should want to go to the current one right here. And then you can say um, there are a couple of APIs here. So we have the open store listing here as well, the open store review page and the request review. Now the open store listing will open, um, go to the app store um, on the device or wherever um, for a certain app. So you have to input like the app ID that you want to go to in the store. Um, the open store review page because does kind of the same thing, but will bring the user automatically to like the review page so they can um, leave their review there instead of like through the app um, or request a review. So that will request a review inside of the app immediately. So let's just do that right now. And you have to specify a little Boolean if this is test mode, yes or no. Um, I'm not sure if this actually does anything that much on all the platforms. So make sure to check out the documentation for that. I'm going to set it to false now, although this is an actual test, but I, I kind of have the feeling that this is more for like the unit test scenarios or that kind of thing. So um, let me stop and restart the application. And the thing is here for iOS that um, it will pop up each time the application is ran in debug mode. So this will come up always, always, always always, always, whenever this is called, it will come up always, um, which is funny because in production, it will only come up like three or four times a year. No one really knows how much it will come up. It's probably determined by some kind of algorithm. So it will come up randomly. And that's kind of like also the difference for iOS and Android and UWP, because I think on Android and UWP, it will always come up. So there you will have to kind of like check like, hey, you implement your own logic um, for whenever you want to do this. Um, but for iOS, you can just call this and iOS itself will determine whenever this dialogue will come up. But if you're running a debug, so you can test it, it will come up all the time. So that's kind of like the difference there. So um, this is here, you can test it, you cannot, of course, submit the actual review because um, it's going nowhere. This is still the debug mode. So that's kind of like how you can do this. But whenever you see this, you can kind of assume that uh, the rest will be working as well. Um, so let's just cancel this and actually go back to our application to our main page and add a couple of buttons here. So um, Let's do a button right here. Actually, I'm just going to do one text um, show 
app store because the other one is going to be pretty much the same. So let's implement a clicked handler, um, fix this little typo right here and go back to our code behind. Um, so now we have this button clicked and again, we can say cross store review dot current and now we can go to our open store review page. So maybe you have a link in your app that brings the user to your um, store listing, or maybe you want to reference another app. I think you can definitely do that because you can just have to um, specify the, the string uh, with the app ID, which I'll be talking about in a little bit, um, and it will bring you to that point in the app store on the device. So let's just do this open store listing. I don't think this will actually work in um, like the debug code, depending on if you're on iOS and Android, but let's see what happens. Um, and here you can um, then specify a string with the app ID. Now for iOS, you will have to have created a app um, definition in the developer, uh, the Apple developer portal. Um, and in the URL, you will see a numeric value that you have to input here. So it's kind of like hard, a little bit hard to find, but um, also not that much. So it will be in the URL, just take that and put it in here, I think it's like six to eight um, numbers or something. So, you know, just test it out a little bit. And for Android, you can just go to um, your solution, your Android project. And here you can see under the properties, the Android manifest, um, you can just find the package name right here, which is in my case, a little bit of a mess because this is just my sample thingy. Um, but it's the reverse domain identifier of your app. So com.company.yourapp is usually the thing for me. It's nl.versluis.xf store or review sample, right? So that's kind of like easier to find, easier to navigate, but for um, iOS, um, it is this, this thing. And I think for UWP, you can also find it in your developer portal. So let's just do that, enter some arbitrary number here, um, save that, and actually let's see if this does anything while we run it in debug mode. Um, I don't really suspect it to, or at least it won't find this ID because there's nothing published um, under this ID, or maybe there is, and we will see some kind of, um, um, surprise app. No, I didn't think so. This doesn't anything because I think don't think the app store is installed on our simulator, right? So maybe if you install this on a physical device, then you can actually see what is going on there. You can actually test it that way. But that is how easy it is to um, request reviews for users and open app definitions on the app store. Now, this is a small plugin that will um, still add some value, especially with like the reviews, right? Because it's hard to get reviews, especially when people are happy about your app. And this application, this plugin will make it a little bit easier to just pop that um, dialogue open for the user, give them a number of stars, maybe some small remark that they want to put in here. Um, so, you know, and you can play with this, right? If you put this on paths where um, people are probably going to be happy, you could even measure maybe something um, by implementing some analytics in there, see if people are actually happy with your app and then you pop it at the right moment um, and they will be happy to leave you a little review. So um, be sure to implement this um, and let me know how it goes in the comments or if you have any other questions, of course, let me know as well. I'll be happy to answer them and maybe make up some follow up videos as well. Thank you so much for watching again one of my videos. Please click that like button if you've liked this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have seen a number of videos from me now and you would like to have that information coming to you instead of you having to search for me all the time. That is what the subscribe button does. And for the rest, I'll be seeing you for the next video. Keep coding.